Good evening! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! This is Peping Agima, your BizDoc programmer. Ah, wala lang itong mga slime ba. Good evening! Welcome back to my YouTube channel! <laughs> um, before I start, uh, nalik ko yung two items na narealize. First is, ang akong Teke Talk list na ako Peping Agima na yun. Okay. Samtang sayo pa, basta hindi mo, musika ta sunod. Di, daghan kita at Peping, Teke Talk by Peping Agima. So, Peping Agima na lang, your BizDoc programmer. Di ba? And then second is uh, kung target audience is um di ba student bisaya student kaning nasa south south na south na part uh, Cebu padulong diri sa Mindanao Visayas to one but i realized na was checking the the YouTube and then nakita ko yung mga ano ah, tagalog agad di ba nakita ko yung mga Pinoy programmers na gumagawa ng tutorial regarding regarding programming um medyo konti lang tapos if i target target only bisaya so ma ma-divide siya kasi kasi di lahat di naman lahat ang marunong magbisaya so yung mga bisaya alam naman ng magtagalog so i was thinking na change ko na lang yung dialect ko uh, proceed ako to bisaya tagalog english di naman ako ma ganun kag kagaling mag english di din ako kagaling mag tagalog so may mix na ng mga Bisaya. And then, yung accent ko sa Tagalog, hindi naman yung ganun ka, ka nice. So, from now on, I'll be speaking Tagalog, English, and Bisaya. So, okay. Um, sige. So, last last video, my first video, uh, we sold the uh, the easy category of easy category of lead code um, in top interview questions regarding the contains duplicate uh, problem. Now, actually na may may nagawa na akong video kanina na stop lang kasi may may student may 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 klase na yung ano ko, yung missis ko nag, nag nagtutulo kasi siya sa, via online using using Akadsok ba yun na ano? So regarding diyan na, na company. So ano na stop lang. So I'll proceed now. Continue ko na lang ngayon. But I'll Babalik ako sa start. Babalik ako sa start. Sige. Um, wait a so here, top interview, lead code, top interview. Tapos, array. Array pa rin. Then, yung sinove ko kanina is um, about two sum. Hindi ko natapos. Hindi ko natapos. But I have already the, the, the first easy solution. So again, yung, yung process natin is yung process natin i-solve natin sa pinaka mabilis i mean like pinaka pinaka madali na na solution na naiisip natin or naiisip ko and then after that we'll do another round to refactor para sa sa efficient or mas yeah efficient na na solution so again before you start solving wag kang agad magpindot ng keys or mag if else for loop or blah 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 jan please read first the the problem so two sums let's read it given an array of integers return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and may not use the same element twice so remember this always be keen on the yung sa mga specification regarding sa problem. So, example, 2, 7, 11, 15. Target number is 9. So, the solution will be, the, the answer will be num0 and num1 because 2 plus 7 equals 9. So, the return value to accept the, the answer is an array of two in, uh, indices. Two index. So, it's 0 and 1. So, gets? Okay. To start this, for sure, may naisip na kayo na, na solution. And then, mo, ang common na solution nito is, of course, galing ako sa pagka estudyante, ang, ang naisip ko to is to, to loop it. And then, same it to check. Get the, uh, loop it first and then check each, each elements na pwedeng magiging, uh, ma, ma, makukuha yung sum na 9 with, uh, with two, two elements. Right? So, tama ba? Hirap magtagalog. But anyhow, 
let's 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 do this so uh first is okay nums then in ruby marami kaming for loops maraming uh, way how to do loops so for this i need the index and the value so i'll i'll use inch uh, nums each with index and do oh do get num and then idx index and then end so first loop so to loop and then next is so my first loop kana to hold the first item and then and next is dapat kunin mo yung yung next item na na magiging partner niya to get the target so for this um will nums each that each with index do num two uh say num one index index one so i'm thinking to have index one index one so there will be oh there so my dalawang my da, my dalawang for my dalawang loop Hindi naman to consider as for loop kasi iba yung for loop, di ba? So, first one is to handle the first item and next next one is to get the second item to compare and get the, to 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 sum up and get the target. So, paano ba 'yan? Um ano na iisip niyo? Mm, so, i plus i ano. So, sa akin, paano ko 'yan gagawin is um, dito kukuha ko ng difference so ima-minus ko ima-minus ko sa target yung num1 so for example for 2 target 9 minus 2 you will get 7 so may 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 difference ka na may difference ka na so paano yan so sa sa baba iko compare natin if difference equals equals num2 so kung kung difference is num2 kung equal sila so therefore i-return -re natin yung both index so return so remember you must return it in array idx1 idx2 righty Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ayun. What else? May ano pa ba? Wala kasi silang test cases na marami. Isa lang. So, anyhow, let's try to. Easy lang, diba? So, yun ay. Eh. Okay, let's try to submit for sure. Baka magta-time out oh, kung marami na. Oopsie! Six, three, two, four. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah. Uh, Nagets ni ba yung issue nito? So, <clears throat> first is, um, yung, yung, Ang problem nito is I I initerate ko yung same na ano na nums. So therefore magsa-start pa rin siya sa 3. Di ba? Uh, base sa sa example na to. So dapat yung yung way of solving this is nag-start na ako sa num1 at uh, na nag-start na ako sa sa unang index. Dapat yung next na loop is sa, sa ne next na index magsa-start. So to do it <coughs> To do it, um, to do it, let's put it in a range. So, uh, um, index 1 plus 1, so plus 1, and then that, that, that is how to create range, minus 1. So, 
but minus 1. So, sa, 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 sa Ruby, I don't know sa ibang programming language, instead of doing nums.length, you can use negative 1 kasi considered siya as the last element or the last index of the array. So, if you, if you, if you, uh, if you try to imagine, I try to imagine na uh, my three, my, my three, two, four ka, so your first index mo is zero, plus one, so magsistart sa one, ang range niya, dot, 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 negative one, or kung, kung clear pa sa, para, ma, para clear siya na, na, para mabasa siya na madali, num, dot, length. So, length ng array. Which is the last item in the array. Pero, to shorten it, pwedeng negative 1. Okay? So, let's see kung tama ba. Kung ma-solve natin to. Then again, hindi pwede 0, 0. Though na-solve siya, 3 and 3, hindi pwede kasi same element siya. ba? Remember this. And you may not use the same element twice. Kasi sa same element siya. Sakto naman siya, ba? 3 and 3. Pero, di pwede. Remember the, the specification. Let's see. <clears throat> Ayun. And then, the next thing is, mali. Yung, yung ano natin, mali. Ah. Zero. Index. So, zero. Zero, gapun. Oh, okay. <clears throat> good, good. So, same dito pa rin tayo. Ang nangyari is, <clears throat> sorry ah. Ang nangyari is, sa 2, 7, 11, 15, once magre-range ka, parang mag-recreate siya ng bago na array. So, yung bago na array is mag-start sa 7. So, yung 7 is magiging 0 ang index. So, 7, 11, 15 is the, <clears throat> is the array of this num id index 1 plus 1 range of negative 1. Dot, dot, dot. So, nagiging, ang laman niya is 7, 11, 15. So, kung i-return mo yan siya, magiging, ano siya, magiging, um, Index 1 is 0, and then index 2 is 0. Kasi, dahil sa range na to, dahil sa range na ito, ito, remember this, nagiging 7, 11, 15. So, anything, uh, may, may, may idea ba kayo paano to is solve? So, to solve this one, dapat kunin natin yung, uh, yung, yung totoong, nago hold ng ng array which is the nums ba hindi naman to siya na mutate eh. hindi hindi naman to mutated na ano so nums is still the same so to get this num that index that index um idx ah no no num1 and then Index num2. Okay, let's run the code. Oh, oh, sorry. Ito pala. So, correct na. Correct. Diba? 0, 1, 0, 1, blah, blah, blah. Mali pala yun kanina. Chinecheck lang yung finish na no value, pero hindi. So, again, wrong pa rin. So, the value is the cost, uh, custom test. Let's try this in a custom test. You can do it here. And then, the value is 6. And then, try to run the code again. So, 0, 1. 0, 0. Okay, makes sense. The thing is, if you check this one, nums index num1, nums index num2. So, in, in Ruby, array in the documentation regarding index, 
kinukuha niya yung first first object ng first occurrence object ng ng value na pinapasa sa index. So for example, num1 is 3. Right? So ang num1 is 3, so kukunin niya sa first index which is 0. Then the next one is 3 because same sila eh. 3 3. So the next one is 3. So ang kukunin ba rin nila is ang index index 0. So in Ruby um R index Ruby R index Ruby Uh this is but supposed to be an array. Pero sige lang, uh, same din ito. Returns index of last occurrence of given substring. Sa ano lang, sa array, last occurrence of the object or the the array item. So, in this case, um, yung, kung gagawin itong R index, ang kukunin niya is yung, for example, may apat na tree. May apat na tree sa, sa array. 0, 1, 2, 3. Ay, 3, 3, 3, 3. So, ang, ang R index niya, if you call R index and then ang value R3, ang kukunin niya na, na, na index is yung sa last, yung 3. So, that's R index works. So, let's see. Run. Okay. Got it. Then, submit. Wait. Ayun. Submitting, submitting, submitting. Tagal, judging. Ayun! Got it! Yun, yun. Then, check natin. And then, Oy! Runtime beats 15 of Ruby submission. Ang bagal naman. 3,648. So, ang bagal masyado nito. Okay. Okay. So, my next goal is how to refactor this. Again, um... <clears throat> Um, last time I discussed about sets, right? And then I'll talk about regarding hash, hash map or hash. So in this kind of problem, we can use hash on this. Remember, hash is a fast lookup because yung yung way of uh way of searching ya is based on key, and key is unique. So to do to do the hash, to do the hash to implement how to implement the hash solution for this let's start on let's start on this okay um same idea let's loop it up let's create a nums hash to place all the hash value all the nums to to uh, into a hash and then nums each with index do Oops. Do num idx. The next is we get the the get the difference. I think the difference, ba? Oh yeah, the difference. Hmm, tama ba? The difference on this and check if check if nums hash key difference so we are doing this is if ever yung different is nas, na na nasa hash na nasa hash na or na nalagay na sa hash or na, na insert na sa hash so i-return natin yung yung index niya so, paano? Diba? Paano, paano natin i-return yung index niya na naka-hash naman siya? Diba? So, to do it, I'll show you. So, if nums hash key, kung wala, diba empty naman sa start, kung wala, let's insert it. Nums hash add the num and then make the num as a key and then make the index as a value. Kasi, we need the index to return. Diba? Then, 
inside of this return di ba uh, return return ret uh, 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 wait okay return nums hash num hash difference in then the idx tama ba di ba tama tama ba ako tama nga so to iterate again i created a hash where i place or i insert all the 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 num the numbers with the value the numbers will be the key and the value will be the the index and then inside i create a loop and then i get the difference between the target and the num and then next is num hash i check if the i check if the key which is the difference is already in the num hash if not i'll add it and then if 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 exists if exists i'll return the num hash difference which is the the which is the the index the value of this is the index and i return the 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 index of the one that i loop make sense sorry i'm not really good in speaking english anyhow we'll see check this one we'll check this one Ang tama ba speed up speed up mm, bagel Uh-huh. What happened? Hmm. Weird. Wait. Uh, usually what I did if I try to test my code. This is very weird. No ba nangyari nito? Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see. I'll test it here. Sorry. What happened on this? Finish yung bagel naman. Ano ba nangyari? Ayun. Baka sa internet. Try ko nga. Try ko yung ano, 3-3. Bagel ah. Ayun, mabilis naman. So, let's see. Um, what else? Uh, let's do this. Um, 100, 1, 2, 4, tapos 15. The result is 16. Correct naman, di ba? 1, 4. Tama ba? 1, tsaka 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, probably dahil yun sa internet, I think. Ewan ko. <laughs> Sige, I'll submit this one. Let's see kung mas mabilis siya kaysa sa ano. Ayun! So, mas mabilis siya. 36, 36 millise millisecond. Bad trip. <laughs> 36 millisecond. First, faster than 79.0.3 of Ruby. One line submission to the Sams. So, C... Baka nga yun sa internet lang. So, pagpasensyaan yun na hindi masyado ma mabilis yung internet ko. Fiber naman. Pero ewan, ewan ko sa ano sa PLDT. But anyway, um, have something. I have something to change here. Let's try this one. Baka pwede naman ya tanggal ito. Well, tanggalin na lang yung ano. Uh... Nga. Ayun. Oh, mas mabilis yung ano. Mas mabilis yung ganun. So, anyhow, yun na lang. So, again, I created the hash. I loop it. I get the difference. And then, I check if the hash exists. If not, I add or insert the hash. The key will be the num. And the value is the index. And then, if the hash exists, if the, the, the difference exists in the hash, I'll return 
the num hash uh, the num hash with the difference to get the index and then return the the one that I loop index. So okay, did you get it? Did you get it, class? Sorry, masadong mabagal kanina. Let's submit it again. Let's try. Baka mas mabilis. Oh, I think average na is 36 milliseconds. Anyhow, um, this is the two sums problem and this is how I solve it. Hopefully, uh, yung way of solving ko is and when uh, way of debugging um, may, hopefully, uh, nakakatulong sa inyo, nakaka, ano, nakakabigay ng, ano, idea how to debug it and how to solve it and what are the things that I use. I usually use hash sets, di ba, kung nanonotice, na na notice nyo. And, always remember that, um, yung, yung mga sorting algorithms nyo na pinag-aralan, very useful yan on how to solve problems. Kasi magagamit ang magagamit nyo yan. Yung mga link list, even yung mga link list, all na natutunan nyo na mga, ano, mga pangpahasa sa programming. Magagamit nyo yan sa any problem. Yung mga problem is, parang change lang, tapos yung mga na idea nyo, idadagdag lang yan para, para, para isolve yung problem. And again, um, thank you so much. Uh, this is the two sums problem, and this is how I solve it. We are in 79.03 of Ruby online submission. 36 seconds, milliseconds. Medyo mabagal lang kanina. Ewan, bakit? O sa internet ba? And sometimes I use this one to to run my, to, to solve problems. I uh, to run the code kasi um, interactive siya. Interac interactive to na, ano. So, it's called repel, repel that IET. Diba? So, again, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Peping Agimat. And hopefully, you like this video. Any suggestion, please comment lang kung na may mga suggestion na, na topic or you want to have some advice or blah, blah, blah. Ano ba? Just hit the comment. Just put comment below and i'll check that one thank you good night have a good have a good night bye bye